Okay, motion, please. Last fall, Clark County Commissioners selected a blue ribbon panel of inquest aye, aye. experts to assist the board in updating and improving the coroner's inquest system. The coroner's inquest review panel was comprised of all the major stakeholders in the process, including Coroner Michael Murphy, District Attorney David Roger, Metro Sheriff Doug Gillespie, and Phil Cohn, public defender for Clark County. Representatives from the American Civil Liberties Union, the NAACP, and other community leaders were all part of this volunteer panel, chaired by UNLV Boyd School of Law professor Christopher Blakesley. Is a symptom of the overall problem of the real or perceived bias in the investigation or the inquest process. With significant input from the public, the 10-person panel passed on their recommendations to the Board of County Commissioners, who then created changes to the ordinance in the coroner's inquest system. The most prominent change, the addition of an ombudsperson. The ombudsperson will serve two roles, as a fact-seeking representative of the deceased person's family and as an advocate on behalf of the public. I do. Well, I'm allowed to be a voice, uh, a voice in the process. The board selected seven local attorneys as appointed ombudsmen. Retired District Court Judge David Wall will serve as the first ever ombudsman in the revamped coroner's inquest system. I was glad to be selected. I was proud to be selected. Um, I was proud to be selected as the first one. Technically, I'm on behalf of the family of the decedent in this process only. I'm not their attorney for anything else. And under the rules, I'm not actually allowed to represent them if there were any civil suit that followed the inquest. After hanging up his judge's robe, Mr. Wall became a partner at the Maynor Eglett Law Firm. The retired jurist has an extensive record of public service in Clark County, first as a public defender and then as a district attorney. His well-rounded legal career will dignify the role of ombudsman and add to the public's acceptance of the often contentious coroner's inquest system. I can bring some unique perspective to it, having the experience that I have in homicide cases. It's going to be an interesting process as we sort of trailblaze through it, so I hope I can lend some of the experience I have to making the process better. I think David will serve the public very, very well. I think he couldn't have picked a better person to move forward with the first case. In addition to the newly created ombudsman, other major reforms to the coroner's inquest system will more accurately reflect the non-legally binding nature of the procedure. The jury will now be called the inquest panel, and those on the inquest panel will not deliver a verdict. By listening to residents' concerns and giving them a voice, the Board of County Commissioners wants the public to be satisfied with the new changes and that the coroner's inquests are as open and transparent as possible. And what sounded good on paper in theory might not actually work out so well when you get into a courtroom and the only thing that's going to happen that is experience of having a few of them under our belt. So I ask people to participate by watching, by uh, forming an opinion, by being open-minded, yet then realizing what's presented, what they like, what they don't like, and if we do come back and address this again, they'll be available to provide that information, those opinions. Another one of the shots went through. Uh, and all coroner's inquests will continue to be cable cast gavel to gavel and live right here on CCTV Channel 4. Uh, another of the shots went through.